Father Retrospect, take one. And this, this is the camera, not this. Yes. Okay. During the search, you know, he just went in a sports shirt and a pair of khakis and a backpack, and people thought he was a student. Because <laughs> I probably didn't know who he was when I first met him. It was either first week or orientation, and they were asking, what do we call ourselves, or something like that. And I was like, Venetian. The search committee was looking for a new president who would be able to lead the university through the end of the 20th century and into the 21st century. I was all prepared to offer my resignation because I thought, well, a new president wanted new leadership. And he said, I think we could do great things together. During Father Dennis's time here at DePaul, DePaul looks like a very different university than it did when I first came here. Under his leadership have added a new theater school, a new daily center building downtown, the new arts and letters building, two new science buildings. We expanded into Cinespace. That is a 21st century move for CDM and for our digital media program. Wintrust Arena, which is certainly the most recent accomplishment, and the reconfigured Big East Conference. Father Dennis, along with the other presidents, rose to the occasion and formulated a new and reinvented Big East. And of course, as we speak right now, the construction of the music school continues. You know, when I first came here, people were still referring to DePaul as a little school under the L, even though we were no longer that. He's really purposeful about connecting the city to the university and connecting the university to the city. The work that DePaul does with Chicago's public schools, with DePaul College Prep, with the Catholic Theological Union, with the city's initiatives around homelessness, with care for the poor, if you just look at any academic program we have on campus, you're likely to see some example of how that academic program is connected to something substantial in the community. When I started working with Father Dennis, I realized that he was a visionary. He saw the future. DePaul University will be proud of you if you take what you've received in this life and give it back and make a difference. From being able to view Father Holschneider's leadership style, I saw that he was a very passionate leader. He always put students first, but he also had to make the tough decisions were necessary. As we worked on the strategic plans, he always said, where is higher education going to be in 10 years, in 15 years, in 20 years? We are always DePaul University. Whenever we gather to commit to building that mission, for yet another generation. Under Father Holschneider's leadership, he was able to balance all of the various constituency groups. Staff voices, I believe, have been heard by Father Holschneider in multiple facets. I can speak for faculty that I, I do believe he, he honors that and he wants us to be a part of the decision-making process and makes that possible. Under his leadership, the university created more than 170 new academic programs and he was instrumental in making sure that creative ideas from the faculty saw the finish line. Everything Father was doing, he always put students at the heart of it. Whether that was striving for the strongest academics that he could get on campus or new programs and services. I've been nominated by a whole slew of students for this. Three, two, one! We were ambitious, we were bold. We didn't say we wanted to be good at diversity. We wanted to be the model of diversity in higher education. The leadership you were able to provide in expanding benefits to include second domiciled adults. It was something that I recognized was a win and something you could push for in that moment. It means a lot to feel included in a community um, and it helps us serve our students better. When it was faculty diversity, he said, go out and find out how we can increase faculty diversity. When it was the undocumented students and dream legislation, he really got right behind it and said, what can we do as a university? The other thing that I find so important about the Many Dreams, One Mission campaign is that Father Dennis, from the start, said I would like one-third of this money to go to support scholarships. 
And something that he was able to do is being a strong fighter for a map in Pell Grants. Specifically, he helped push a lot of the state legislators and people in Springfield to ensure funding for MAP. I also wanted to thank you for uh, securing the funding uh, for MAP grants, which help students like myself as well. Um, without you doing so, uh, that would have really hindered my ability to continue my studies here at DePaul. One of the most important things that he has done is to take our Vincentian mission and to really work with the university community to embed it in our institutional DNA. That sort of Vincentian Catholic mission, social justice, and bringing education to those who normally wouldn't have the opportunity. Those are the kind of things that we come together around. It's not enough to do good, it must be done well. And I think Father Holtschneider as president has led the university community to understand that this is what it means to be a Vincentian institution. And it's ultimately, I think, what makes DePaul who we are, you know? It's, it's, our, it's our heart. Father Holschneider, I am so incredibly excited for you in this next chapter of your life. Father Dennis, on behalf of the trustees of DePaul University and certainly the people whose lives you've affected in such a significant way, thank you. Thank you for giving us 13 years of your life, your leadership, your vision. Some of it was very tough, but we got through it because um, you just, you had a vision and an understanding and a calmness about you that I always appreciated. Father Dennis, I'm gonna miss you tremendously. I wish you love, happiness, success. I want you to know how incredibly grateful I am and all of my colleagues, all of our coaches and staff, and certainly on behalf of all of our student athletes. I knew that 13 years ago, that however long your presidency would last, that DePaul would not just be a different place, but it would be a better place, and that certainly is true. Father Holtschneider, I want to thank you for all you've done to keep DePaul's Catholic Vincentian and urban mission vibrant and alive. You have been there through thick and thin of this university, and you've always been at the forefront of making sure our education is the best it can be. We have seen the change, and we like where DePaul is going, and we're excited to see what else DePaul has. Thank you so much for inspiring me. What I realized recently is that I'm not just losing my boss, I'm losing my friend and my confidant. <sighs> Thank you, and hopefully our paths will cross again soon. Thank you for all that you've done for DePaul University.